After installing the motor properly, turn the manual clutch clockwise to release it. Move the gate until the left spot where you want to set as the end stop makes contact with the limit sensor on the motor. Fix one magnet at the lowest end of the shorter holder. Put it at the spot on the gear rack that makes contact with the limit sensor. Make sure only one limit LED glows. Move the gate without changing the location of the magnet on the rack, tighten the holder on the rack. Move the gate and make sure only one limit LED glows when the magnet makes contact with the limit sensor. Move the gate until the right spot where you want to set as the other end stop makes contact with the limit sensor on the motor. Fix the other magnet at the highest end of the taller holder. Put it at the spot on the gear rack that makes contact with the limit sensor, make sure only one limit LED glows. Move the gate without changing the location of the magnet on the rack. Tighten the holder on the rack. Move the gate and make sure only one limit LED glows when the magnet makes contact with the limit sensor. Move the gate until the motor locates roughly at the middle of the gate. Turn the manual clutch anti-clockwise to lock it. Press the 1 button to test. Make sure only one limit LED glows each time a magnet makes contact with the limit sensor. If both limit LEDs glow at the same time, the motor will freeze, adjust the height of the magnets properly.